Welcome to the BioWhisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of the marine biotechnology. So let's discuss in this short video the roles of marine biotechnology applications in the area of aquaculture. Introduction The ocean and seas cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface. Within this marine environment lies a wide variety of living organisms, from bacteria to eukaryotes, as well as unique chemical compounds, which are of great importance to medicine, nutrition, cosmetics, agriculture, and other industries. In fact, marine environment encompasses the treasure throve of biological and chemical diversity among all types of ecosystems. Marine biotechnology is the creation of products and processes from marine organisms through the application of biotechnology. Apart from biotechnology, we see molecular and cell biology and bioinformatics being integrated in this field that deals with ocean exploration for development of new pharmaceutical drugs, enzymes, and chemical products or processes. Biotechnological applications can be used to harness the potential of the marine environment for human benefit and fundamental biological progress. Applications Applications of marine biotechnology are broadly involved in aquaculture and fishery, medicine, environment and biofuels amongst others. Aquaculture and fishery Within aquaculture, Biotechnological advances can offer solutions to several problems areas in aquaculture. One of the observed scenarios is that several types of fishes do not spawn spontaneously when reared under captive conditions compared to fishes in the open sea. The solution traditionally is to harvest and extract fish gonadotropin from pituitary glands in the form of crude extracts. Such an approach is inefficient and requires thousands of fishes and their pituitary glands to start with the extraction of crude fish hormones. As gonadotropin is important to stimulate reproduction in fishes, recombinant DNA technology has now enabled large-scale lab production of purified fish hormones for aquaculture use. Fishes and marine organisms in aquaculture need to be protected against viral diseases and to reduce or prevent the spread of diseases. For instance, within the salmon industry, fish vaccination is a cost-effective strategy that confers resistance to the hemotopoietic necrosis virus. Traditionally, antibiotics have been added in aquafeed and such antibiotics may end up in the food chain. Antimicrobial peptides is a potential alternative to antibiotics for aquaculture as no resistance to antimicrobial peptides has been reported to date. Being part of the innate immune defense system of marine organisms, antimicrobial peptides can provide an immediate and fast action against invading microorganisms. For instance, the antimicrobial peptide halicidin can be harvested from sea peaches. Another angle of looking at aquafeed involves using traditional trash fish or wild fish species as protein source for aquafeeds. After fisheries control regulations being enforced by several countries and regions, such as the European Commission, plant-based protein sources is a more sustainable option with additional advantage of being cheaper. Currently, the majority of transgenic research on commercially important fish species are focused on improving growth rates by transfer of growth hormones. This has economic benefits as modified transgenic fishes reach maturity and end up at the dining table faster, given a shorter production cycle. The Road Ahead Marine biotechnology is one of the youngest biotechnology approaches. The marine ecosystem has rich biodiversity, and the organism themselves contain vital biochemical compounds with a wide array of uses in medicine, environment, and other industries. Thus, research on this field is vital to tap the vast potential of the marine environment to improve human life in any way possible. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, Please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for future updates.